Hey everybody, my name is Nathan Ingram. I'm Deputy Managing Editor at Engadget. Thank you for stopping by our booth here at CES 2019. I'm here with Spotify's Danielle Lee. Why don't you say your title for everybody so I don't mess it up. I'm the Global Vice President of Partner Solutions. There's been advertising for free users on Spotify for years, right? So can you tell me like what's changed? What makes this different than like a normal advertising spot in the Discover Weekly? So Discover Weekly is a personalized playlist that's delivered to each user and it's really using machine learning and algorithms to generate the playlist. So it takes into account your music preferences and your streaming history and my Discover Weekly is different than the one that you right. get. Our consumers love this experience but brands haven't really been able to own it in the way that they can now. So it's an end-to-end -end ownership for, for a week and um, it's really about aligning your brand message with this, the ethos of discovery. So we launched a beta with Microsoft, and Microsoft um, was kind of a, a great partner for this because they have this amazing campaign around AI, talking about the impact of AI, it's called Empowering Us All, um, and talking about how AI will impact all these different segments of our world, education, healthcare, uh, philanthropy. Well, I think that most people are probably familiar with the like ads where you listen to a handful of songs and there's like a kind of radio style clip usually that comes in there, right? What kind of stuff will people hear in Discover Weekly with Microsoft? So um, the, the ads are really uh, focused on the, the impact of AI and because uh, Discover Weekly is uh, really leveraging artificial intelligence to um, deliver this personalized experience, it's really introducing you to new music that we believe you'll like based on how you've um, interacted with, with the platform in the past. Right. Um, and because we collect so much data, um, it's really about improving that experience. So for Microsoft, it was just aligning their brand message with that overall thought of um, here is a way for you to um, get a really personalized experience. We're leveraging this artificial intelligence and how AI can make the world a better place. Is it fair to say you've been using AI as part of Discover Weekly since it launched? It's okay. about understanding people through music. It's about learning about what you like, what your habits are, um, understanding your moods and mindsets. Music is um, such a rich and textured data set um, because what it does is it, it reveals your emotional state. And people use music for all different moments of their day. Right. And um, as they personalize and curate the experience on Spotify, they create playlists for different moments from commuting to working out to getting ready to studying to sleep. We really um, get to know you. And so um, the, the use of that streaming intelligence is primarily used to deliver a better experience to each individual. We also have editorial playlists where our music curators um, program those. Um, some of the franchises are Rap Caviar, Hot, right. Hot Country, uh, Viva Latino. And these have massive followings. Um, these are music curators that have been in the business for many, many years, that understand the genre, are part of the culture. On the flip side, we have algatorial playlists like Discover Weekly, like Release Radar, like Daily Mix. There are a finite set of them. People appreciate um, the fact that we can anticipate what they might be looking for. Your home screen will look different in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening because we know what types of behaviors um, people are using music for. Mus people soundtrack their lives. Um, and that's the beauty of it. It's, it's about tapping into people's, these real-time moments, um, understanding the human condition, if you will, and trying to meet that need. And you know, I'm excited about the fact that brands can now be a part of that in, in a very different way. Um, so we're looking to continue to push the envelope there. We serve audio and video ads within okay. the, the free experience, the right. Spotify free experience. And so um, all of the advertising within that playlist would be owned by, by um, Microsoft in this case. Yep. And um, and it would all be around this emp empowering us all campaign that they have around AI. The the ad placement will change depending on the individual and the pattern of their listening. Again, all personalized. All personalized. Um, and then maybe they encounter an audio ad or a video ad, and it's Microsoft. Separately, we have a set of enhanced playlists like okay. Rap Caviar that have video integrated into okay. the audio playlist. Um, so you might encounter you know, listen to a few tracks and then encounter a music video right. or an interview with an artist or some sort of editorial content okay. like, a, like a, a branded series, okay. for example. And so um, 
there, we, we also offer sponsorships. Okay. Um, we, uh, we offer, um, you know, brands to uh, run media driving back to the playlist. Um, there's, you know, title cards and other things that um, really a associate the brand with, with that experience. When Spotify um, started originally, the experience was more search-based. Now, for us, it's really about discovery. And it's about curating a, an experience that is more and more personalized and unique to each user, that adds value, that creates a value exchange between them and the artists, them and the brands. Podcast is a really interesting space for us. It's an area that we're really doubling down on. Um, we've made big investments there over the past year plus. Um, and you know, the connection there is really about um, becoming an, a, an audio platform, global audio platform, where it's a de the best in class destination to receive all of your audio content. A lot of the podcasts we distribute are music related or music adjacent, but they also talk about the intersection of music with other categories, sports, politics, etc. Um, and so we're really excited about um, investing in bringing Spotify originals, but also broadening the catalog um, to um, really meet the different interests of the, the consumers on our platform. There's yeah. a Spotify original podcast original. called Unbothered. It comes out in March of 2019. Okay. Um, and the host is Jamel Hill, who's a fantastic um, individual. And what I love about it is that we're bringing a, di a more diverse set of voices to the platform. Really representing different voices and different perspectives is, is super important to us. We've launched several um, last year. Okay. Um, we did a, a podcast with Amy Schumer called Three Girls and One Key, which was very successful. The Joe Budden podcast. Yep. Um, we have Dissect. So there's, there's lots of uh, great original content that we're creating. Um, we also collaborate with brands to, co to co-create podcasts. So um, the most recent one that we've done is called Ebb and Flow mm -hmm. with New Amsterdam Vodka. Even with the um, Spotify originals, um, we see an opportunity for brands to, to, to sponsor those. Um, we, you know, host red ads are very, very effective, and I think it offers a nice balance for our brands to be part of the storytelling. We've really gotten um, quite good at uh, you know, music recommendations right. and um, surfacing the right music at the right time. We want to bring that same capability using data, using technology to the podcast world, yeah. um, where search is very difficult within podcasting. Um, there's a very deep catalogs for some of these podcasts, and so really helping to service the, sur surface the right ones at the right time for individuals based on their streaming preferences and their habits. Um, is really where we see uh, you know, po the podcast experience going on Spotify. It becomes a relationship, and I think the benefit to brands is that um, if you can align your brand with the right um, podcast and the right host, um, you've, you're tapping into a loyal audience, um, you're kind of get instant credibility, um, but it really has to be that, that right fit and that right alignment. It's incremental listening, it's additive. Mm -hmm. So it's not cannibalizing them listening to music, but it's kind of a different headspace where you're interested in learning more about a topic or want to know what's going on in the world or get a specific personality's perspective on some news that broke. And so it, it is about democratization and, and that's why we feel really passionate about bringing this diverse set of voices to the, to the platform. That's a really good way to put it, the cannibalization. I think it's about taking into account all of those different um, levers and use cases. Yeah. Um, knowing how people stream, the frequency within which they listen to podcasts, that's the other thing. Like New podcasts launch on a much more, there's much more supply and much more frequency of, uh, of new content than in music, right? New artist, an artist delivers a new album or a new song every few months, whereas you can get a new podcast every day or every week. Um, so we, we believe that's going to fuel a lot more engagement. And with that engagement, we're going to learn more about how people are listening, how people are engaging, what kind of content is resonating, and you know what else we need to develop. I was wondering if you could talk about how Spotify sees video as part of this portfolio. What kind of specific video you can really deliver that uh, you know, people can't get elsewhere on YouTube, for example. 
So um, we develop a lot of editorial video to complement our franchise playlist. Okay. Um, so it really is embedded into the experience as opposed to being sitting separate and apart in a different destination. Okay. We recently did a program called um, The Break uh, on Rap Caviar and um, worked with Sprite to create a companion branded video series called Sprite Break the Breakthrough. Um, and that has done really, really well. That the, the actual editorial content ran within the playlist, but then Sprite's um, branded series ran within um, video placements, um, video ad placements on the free platform. So we don't want to distribute essentially content that you can find anywhere else. We want it to feel native to the experience. We want it to feel additive. People want to go deeper on a, a, a topic or the, the culture of a specific genre. Um, we want to offer that to them as opposed to replicating, you know, what exists on YouTube. All right. Well, thanks so much for your time. It's very nice talking to you. Thank you. you. Nice right. to meet you. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.